Hello everyone. Welcome to MSFT webcast. In this video, we are going to see the steps on how to create a device compliance policy in Microsoft Intune. Brace yourself, this video is going to be a little longer. Device compliance policies are a key feature when using Intune to protect your organization's resources. In Intune, you can create rules and settings that devices must meet to be considered as a compliant device. Once compliance policies have been created, they can be assigned to enrolled devices and device groups. Devices will be configured using the compliance policy and become compliant. Each time that a device attempts to access corporate resources, the policy on the device will be evaluated and its compliance status determined. Only compliant devices will be granted access to the resources. If the device isn't compliant, you can then block access to data and resources using conditional access. When considering how your organization will achieve compliance, you may need to review the features available and support for compliance policies. Each compliance policy within Intune is platform specific and the actual compliance policy settings available will vary depending on the settings that are exposed to the mobile device management framework by the platform vendor. For example, bit local encryption is available only on Windows devices and Google Play Protect is available only on the Android platform. Organizations must have Azure AD Premium P1 or P2 licenses and each device requires an Intune license to use compliance policies. For testing purpose, in this video, we will create a device compliance policy for Windows devices. Sign in to the Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center as a Global Administrator or an Intune Service Administrator. We can access Microsoft Endpoint Manager using the URL https endpoint.microsoft.com. On home page, click on Groups. We have created one test device group named test underscore win client. Click on group name. Under Manage, click on Members. We can see the Windows 10 device name labwin10 CLI01 is listed as a member of this group. We will apply the device compliance policy on this group. Click on Devices. Under Policy, click on Compliance Policies. Click on Create Policy plus icon. On the Create a Policy blade, under Platform, select Windows 10 and Later. Click on Create. On the basic step, type the name Test of Windows 10 Compliance Policy. Description is optional. Select Next. On the Compliance Settings tab, modify the settings you require. Here we have total 6 different categories. First one is Custom Compliance. Custom Compliance Usage JSON Files and PowerShell scripts that you create and upload to Intune to add custom settings to your compliance policies. Custom settings provide flexibility to base compliance on the settings that are available on a device without having to wait for those settings to be added to Intune. Maybe we will have dedicated video on custom compliance settings. Click on Device Health. Using Device Health, we can check whether 
beat locker is unable or not whether secure boot is unable or not or whether code integrity is unable or not on windows devices you just need to click on enable to enable these settings in the policy next section is device properties in this section we can define the os version limit for pc and mobile devices configuration manager compliance section is useful if you have sccm in place those settings will be here you will use this option in intune core manage environment if you are not using sccm then you can skip this option click on system security section password related settings is only for mobile devices under device security we can choose whether it requires firewall tpm antivirus or anti spyware or not for testing purpose we are going to select firewall antivirus and anti spyware option under defender we can choose whether we require microsoft defender anti malware or not those settings will be here last option is for microsoft defender atp this will be useful when you onboard your devices in defender atp configure the settings as per your organization's requirement in our test policy we are going to check whether firewall is on or not so under device security i'm going to click a require for firewall for antivirus and for anti spyware now let's uh, click on next to continue now we must decide what to do with non compliant devices already one action is defined when we create compliance policy the mark device non compliant action is automatically created and automatically set to immediately with this action when the device checks in with intune and evaluates the policy if it isn't compliant to that policy intune immediately marks that device as a non compliant if you want to notify the user you can add the send email to end user action on the send email action you set the schedule to 2 days if the device or end user is still evaluated as non compliant on day 2 then your email is sent on day 2 if you want to email the user again on day 5 of non compliance then add another action and set the schedule to 5 days click on drop down and select send email to end user we will set schedule days to 0 to send email instantly in the last video we have created the notification message template we will use that email notification template to send email to end user under message template click on none selected click on notification message template which we have created earlier test email notification click on it click on select note that devices are not automatically retired if you choose the retire action instead they are added to a list in the admin console under retire non compliant devices click on drop down and select add device to retire list set the scheduled days to 60 Okay so we have defined total 3 actions for this device compliance policy Click next You can apply this policy to all users or to all devices For testing purpose we will apply this policy on test_win client group only Click on add groups From the list select the group in our case it is going to be test to win client select it click on select again 
we can see the number of device on which this policy will apply. In our case, we have only one device. Click Next. Review the settings and select Create when ready to save the compliance policy. We can see the new compliance policy is created successfully. Here we can see the current policy assignment status. As we can see, it is set to zero devices. Click on Devices. Click on All Devices. And click on Lab Win 10 CLI01 Windows 10 device. Under Monitor, click on Device Compliance. At this moment, we have only one compliance policy assigned to our Windows 10 device. So we need to wait for the new device policy to appear here. Uh, let me refresh the page and let's see what happens. Okay, after waiting for two minutes something, we can see our test policy is listed, but it is not evaluated yet. Uh, under state, we can see it is not evaluated. Later on, we will again check this status. Now, it is time for testing. Let's go to our Windows 10 VM. This VM is part of test win client group. So, the device compliance policy will apply on this Windows 10 device. First, let's turn off the firewall. Search for firewall. Click on Windows Defender Firewall. Click on Turn Windows Defender Firewall on or off. Let me turn off the firewall and click on OK. We can see firewall is currently disabled. Go back to Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. Click on Lab Win 10 hyphen CLI 01. Click on Overview tab. Click on Sync so it will forcefully speed up the policy evaluation. Click on Yes. We are going to perform manual synchronization. We can see the confirmation message Sync initiated. We can also perform Sync from Windows 10 device as well. Under Monitor, click on Device Compliance. Here we can see still state is compliant for our test policy. Since we have disabled the firewall on our Windows 10 device, this policy should state not compliant for our Windows 10 device. We need to wait for the evaluation to complete. I'm going to pause the recording and once our device is detected, I'll resume it. After waiting for around 3 minutes, policy state is changed to non-compliant. Now let me show you what I have done in this 3 minutes. I went back on this Windows 10 device and I have performed the manual synchronization with Intune. Uh, we can confirm that Defender Firewall is turned off on this Windows 10 device. And based on the device compliance policy which we have created, this device is now turned into non-compliant state. Let's click on this policy name, Test Windows 10 Compliance Policy. We can see anti-spyware and antivirus is compliant since Windows Defender is up and running on our Windows 10 device. But the device is non-compliant with the new policy because it is not running firewall services. And that we can see here, firewall, it is not compliant. Click on devices, click on all devices, confirm the non-compliant status for our Windows 10 device named lab win 10 cli one An email will also send to user informing device non-compliance state. Under Policy, click on Compliance Policies. Click on our policy name. 
it is still not showing any device on overview tab. I think this will take some time to display the device here. On the monitor, click on device status. We can see a Windows 10 device name with the compliance status, which is non-compliant. Lab Win 10 hyphen CLI01 compliance status non-compliant. We can also see the last status update timestamp as well. If you turn on the firewall and perform the manual sync, after a few minutes, the device will become compliant again. Let's see that. Let's go back to a Windows 10 device. And now I'm going to turn on the Windows Defender Firewall. Okay, uh, let me perform the manual synchronization. Okay, the sync process has been completed successfully. Now let's go back to Microsoft Endpoint Manager Admin Center. Uh, let me click on refresh. And here we can see our device status is now changed to compliant. Let me click on Devices, All Devices. Uh, here it is still showing as a non-compliant. Uh, let me click on the device name. Under Monitor, click on Device Compliance. And here we can see uh, this is the policy which we have created and state is compliant. Let me click on it. Here we can see Compliance state for anti spyware, antivirus, and firewall. So, after turning on the firewall and based on the configuration in device compliance policy, now our device is marked as a compliant. That's all for this video on how to create a device compliance policy in Microsoft Intune. We have also tasted the result of the device compliance policy. Thank you all for watching this video. Have a nice day.